Hey, hey friends, it's Cory from Hey Let's Make Stuff, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing all about the Cricut Venture docking stand. So in my video last week, I shared all about Cricut Venture, which is Cricut's newest large format cutting machine. And this machine is different than any other Cricut you've ever owned. So if you haven't watched that video, I would suggest you watch that first, because this video is just gonna be on the stand. And you'll remember if you did watch that video that I didn't cover the stand in that video. Um, I had the Cricut Venture on top of my desk because I wanted to show that you can use this machine without this stand. That being said, I really like this stand, so I'm excited to share it with you today. So I do have a little problem in that my filming area here is not that big, so I cannot fit me and the full docking stand in one shot. So I'll be layering over some B-roll so that you can actually see how this docking stand works. So let's work sort of top to bottom. It sits on this sort of MDF tray and it's very, very sturdy. Um, the tray itself has two posts. They're like little pegs and the Cricut Venture actually sits onto those pegs. So you don't have to worry about this like sliding off of the tray. Um, it's actually secured on there pretty well. Sitting behind the machine is a roll holder. So this roll holder is designed to hold smart materials. So if you are cutting large rolls of vinyl or iron-on or stencil, it can sit on these rollers back here. They're very smooth rolling and they allow the material to be fed in and out of the machine really easily. So if you're making projects that don't require a ton of material, that roll holder will usually be enough to sort of catch the material in the back as it is fed in and out of the machine. But if not, there are catch baskets on the front and back of this stand. And this is one of my favorite features about the Cricut Venture docking stand. So I'm gonna open this one up here and there is an identical one in the back. And these catch baskets are designed to catch any um, smart materials that go in and out of the machine instead of allowing them to hit the floor. At first I wasn't sure why there was one in the back, but this machine moves so fast that this little roll holder in the back, while great, can't keep up. So there are times where you'll be cutting a lot of vinyl and it will just basically spill or loop over in the back and the back catch basket is to keep it from hitting the floor. I love these catch baskets. Um, when I was working with smart materials on my Maker 3 and my Explore 3 and even my Cricut Joy, um, I found that the materials would hit the floor and they would pick up just anything that was on the floor. And you know, I try and keep it fairly neat and tidy in here, but I also have a very big dog and his hair is everywhere. So any time that those materials would hit um, the floor, the static would catch it and it would just pull up all sorts of dog hair and dust, no matter how clean I think it was in here. So these catch baskets are really, really smart. Um, so the uh, material will come through and it will loop in the catch basket. And Cricut says that these catch baskets are uh, static dissipative, which is not really a word I'd heard before, but it seems to work. So basically they dissipate any static that is on that material, meaning that if stuff even wants to stick to it, it doesn't. And I have noticed, I've done quite a few cuts with this so far, that I have almost no dog hair or dust on any of my smart materials, which is awesome. It really kind of makes me want Cricut to design a cart like this for the 3 Series and the Cricut Joy, um, just because it is so much handier to have the um, material go into these catch baskets than onto the floor. On these catch baskets, there are some breakaway clips down here. Now, I've got small children and they are very curious so if you pull this hard enough, this whole thing will give way. Um, and that's to keep um, the whole cart more stable. You don't want somebody to pull this and somehow bring down the entire machine. It would be much better to have your material fall on the floor than to knock the whole thing over. So there are these little clips down here um, that are designed to break away should somebody pull too hard on this. Next up is mat storage. So the mats that are used with Cricut Venture are really big. The biggest mat is 20, cuts 24 by 28, which means that it's actually a little bit bigger. So there are these little hooks under here to help store the mats. I don't think you're supposed to have to take off this catch basket to be able to access that, but I find it really hard to slip the mats kind of into this space. So I find myself taking the back off the catch basket, which is kind of fussy. I sort of just like lay it down, like lay the ends down here on these uh, breakaway tabs that I talked about earlier. Um, I just don't find it very easy to access it just through this small space right here. Um, maybe I'll get more used to it after a while, but for me, I've been sort of unhooking the back of this catch basket and so I can get to those mats more easily. Really, really great idea. Not quite sure about the function of it. I mean, I'm really glad I can store my mats in there, but it is just a little bit difficult to get them in and out. But I would much rather have that than have to store these mats anywhere else in my office. You can't see it in this forward facing video here, but there are uh, rolling casters on the bottom of this tray, making it very easy to move around in your space. I have moved this 
basically everywhere around my office. Um, and it is really stable and those casters work really well. So assembly for this was pretty easy, but I wanted to point out one thing. Um, the tray piece comes with a sort of styrofoam frame that you need to keep it on while you're installing it. Um, I kept mine on and installation was pretty easy, but I can see that if somebody was going through that box and just pulled the styrofoam off because that's what you do when you're unboxing something, it could be really difficult to install. Because you flip this thing over with the legs in the air to install or to assemble it, um, that means that it would try to be sitting on that roll holder in the back. It wouldn't sit flat and then assembling all the legs and everything could be really difficult. So assembly was not too difficult, but make sure you keep that styrofoam piece on until the instructions um, specifically tell you to remove it. So how big is the Cricut Venture docking stand? Will it fit in your space? It's 36 inches from side to side, a little bit bigger than the machine itself. From front wheel to back wheel, it's 24 inches. The machine itself is only eight inches wide, um, but because you want this to be really stable, um, they have this nice like wide uh, footprint for the actual cart itself. And then it's about 34 inches tall without the machine and about 42 inches tall with the machine. Honestly, I was pleasantly surprised at the height of this cart. I am very average in height, so I'm 5'6", and I find this a very, very comfortable height for me to work at. I don't think it would be necessarily super uncomfortable if you were taller or shorter, but I do feel like I was thinking I would have to bend down to work the machine, and I don't, and that's actually really nice. So one of the biggest concerns I had was stability. This is a thousand dollar machine on what is basically a cart, right? And that is scary when you've got kids and a dog, or if you're like me, you're really clumsy. So I sort of simulated <laughs> trying to knock it down. I locked the wheels and tried to sort of knock it over. I turned the, you know, I unlocked the wheels and kind of pushed it around. I, you know, was, I didn't want to knock it down, but I also did want to be like, you know, is this going to be sturdy? And then I actually tripped and fell into it because like I said, I'm clumsy and it, nothing happened. It was fine. Um, so I talked to a, um, a guy at Cricut and he said that they actually um, exceeded the standards for furniture making for stability. So that 24 inch wheelbase is wider than it technically needed to be because they wanted to make this such a sturdy piece of furniture. And I do think they nailed it. That being said, I do think with like enough force or, you know, just something really, really large coming at it, you could knock it over, especially maybe if the wheels bump up against like an edge of a carpet or something like that. I mean, I think it would really take some big disaster to do that, but you know, just be aware that this is a big machine on a cart and you probably wanna make sure that you're gonna put it somewhere where it's not gonna get knocked around too much. So my overall review of this docking stand is that I really like it, especially the catch baskets. The catch baskets are my favorite part because it saves you all of that dust and dander sticking to your materials, which is really annoying when you're working with things like transfer tape um, on vinyl and that sort of thing. I really, really like how these catch baskets function. I also like how sturdy and durable it feels. I like that I can move it around my craft room um, just because of the way my craft room is set up. I don't actually have the perfect home for this yet. So I've been moving it all over the place to use it, to photograph it, all these things and rolling it on those wheels. It's been great. I haven't felt like I'm going to knock it over and it feels really stable. One other thing I like is that even if you, this kind of has a home in your craft space, you can pull it out a bit so you can access it from the back. The power button's in the back, the roll is in the back, that catch basket's in the back. You wanna be able to access both sides of this machine just because you're working with such large materials and being able to just roll it out makes it so much easier than having it on a desk. So I just have two small things that I wish they'd added. The first would be a little bit of storage. Even if it was just like a little hanging bag on the side, I mean, I may add one myself, but there are some things that come with this machine that it would be really nice to store with the machine. So there's a little cleaning kit that'd be really great to have it just like hanging next to the thing so you could use it anytime you wanted. Um, the same thing with the mat support arms that, um, that you add when you are working with a really large mat. Um, so it would just be nice to have even just like a little bag or something hanging off the side here so you could store that all together. So I think I'm gonna do that myself though. The second thing is something I wish for all Cricut products is that they had better cord management. So the cord is um, back behind the machine here. And if you wanna move it around, there's no easy way to like just like loop the cord around and lock it into place. Instead, I sort of drape the cord over the top and kind of move it around and the cord is kind of everywhere. I think this about every Cricut product. I think Cricut products are really, really well designed for the most part, but I really wish they had better cord management, something within the machine itself so that you could wrap the cord around it and then the cord would have like a little clip on the plug end so you could clip it to, it, to the cord itself. Um, I wish this from everything from this machine down to like my easy press. Like, I mean, I really wish it was one of those things that they thought a little bit more about because cords are annoying. So other than those two little nitpicks though, I really, really like this stand. 
So then the question is, do you need the docking stand? You do not. I don't wanna make you buy something that you don't need. Um, you can totally you work this machine from the edge of a table. It does need to sit at the edge of the table because that mat or that material does go at that 45 degree angle and it needs the space below um, the table to be able to function. But you can use this easily on the edge of a sturdy table. Additionally, maybe you don't have space for something like this in your craft room and that's totally fine. So if you do need a smaller space and you do need to work this on a table, you can totally do it. And finally, the price. This is basically the question with everything that I talk about on my blog here. So the Cricut Venture itself is $999, right? Same price as the Auto Press. I assume at some point they'll drop that price a little bit because they always do. So if you can't afford it now and you'd like a couple, you know, hundred bucks off or something, you might want to wait a little bit. Um, because you'll, you should, I think the price will come down a little bit like it does for everything else. But if you wanna buy the Venture and the docking stand, I would really suggest buying them together because if you buy them together, the docking stand is $249. If you buy them separately, the docking stand is gonna be $349. So there is a $100 difference there. At the launch of this machine, only HSN will have the docking stand and the machine bundled together. So if you're watching this when this video first comes out and you're like, yes, I want it, I want the stand, go to HSN. Um, it goes on sale on July 24th at 10 p.m. Mountain Time. So do the time zone conversion for yourself and you can get the whole thing. It will be on sale at other retailers as well, but it won't um, be bundled with the stand yet. Those will come later in August. Um, if you're watching this sometime after that, you, you can probably buy it just about anywhere. But if you do want to buy it right away, then HSN is where you're going to find it. So that's the Cricut Venture docking stand. If you have any questions about it, how it functions, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, go ahead and leave me a comment. If you found this video helpful or you want to learn more about Cricut Venture, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I have more videos about it coming up. I'll see you next week.